this video I'm going to square the reference corner for the frame base. Let's try doing this again. Take 370mm extrusion, the longest one. Let's verify that this is the longest one. 170 millimeter. Then I uh, need to take two pieces. One is going to be the one I'm going to um, attaching and the other one I uh, uh, will use as a guide. This is a level, supposedly level surface. Now, holding this guide like this and pressing with the thumb from, from the top so uh, the pressure goes this way so this, th this thing is aligned and I, I'm pressing on this slightly, Don't <clears throat> there is no need to press hard on this, like, as long as it's aligned it's fine. Okay, so on this side, it is flush on this side, like so, and it is flush on this side, like so. So now I'm going to do the other side, for which I need another plate, another T knot. And another two bolts. Just screwing them in slightly. Then I, I, I'm just gonna do this on the other side here using a left hand. In this case I would just press on like so with my uh, pointy fing finger pressing this way. I should have tightened this thing way more before I started doing this. Again, no need to press hard on this. Just have alignment here and there. Okay, so now the, the, this is flush now. And it is flush over here. Next thing, I'm gonna take the um, other piece 370 millimeter piece and I'm going to do the same thing to it. Now again, pressing like this. Now 
on one side where this part is flush now and this part is flush I'm now doing the other side Oh, this is, might be not good because I lifted the piece. So let's try realign it again a bit. Yeah, no need to press hard on this. Just uh, slightly press diagonally down and left in this case. And checking that the oh this one is not flush uh, there's a little bit uh, of the lip sticking out so now I have to redo this And now the piece is flush here and flush here. Okay, I'm just gonna tighten things a little bit. Here and here. So um, I have my two pieces and now the really uh, difficult part of the build is trying to um, assemble a corner that needs to be at exactly uh, 90 degrees. So um, this is called take your time with the step. So we're taking 331 millimeter piece now. Uh, yeah. 331 millimeters here. So uh, maybe actually I'll try and assemble this corner. So I'm just Assembling this first. Without tightening it. So now uh, I need to square this thing and I should probably just move this thing away like this. And I will need my uh, carpenter square. And uh, I will also use the uh, this thing. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna tighten this square like an instruction. I'm just gonna use this as a third hand. So I'll um, attach this to the guest corner of the table. Like over here. And the problem is I need, uh, I need to attach this to like this far on the table. Then I will press the whole thing here to the rubber bit that attaches to the table. So the thing is sort of square. And then I'm gonna go and try and see if this thing is aligned. Or maybe I can hold it like this. Then I Trying to hold the square as much as I can and press it like as close to the corner as I can. And then I will tighten this thing. 
Okay, so uh, now it's probably didn't work out as much as uh, I hope it would. So I will just check squaring on the outside. And the square doesn't want to kind of wobble on the one side or the other. So that's a good sign. And I'm going to recheck here. Make sure that the square is also flush. Oh, and as you can see, it is not flush. There's like some wobbling from the inside. I think I got this pretty close. I'm not sure if I can get it any more, any closer than I already did, but I'm going to try. So this part, uh, this part is al already aligned. So I need to uh, untie these two uh, bolts. Okay. We're back to square one on this. So, uh, I'm, I'm pressing the, this against here. Oh, and uh, I see that there's a bit of a gap, so I think I need to tighten the screws a bit more. Okay, maybe maybe I do need to press it down a little harder than I am doing right now. So yeah, let's I'll try to press it down like this. I will try to use a rubber band or maybe more than one rubber band to hold this thing together. So I have some free hand in order to So yeah, okay, rubber band here holding the... the square to help me square this thing. And yeah, it's not quite... It's not to have any gaps under here. So you can see there is a bit of a gap. So if I move this up, there is a gap. And if I move this down, there is a gap here. So what I need to do is move this thing around in such a way that when I hold it, there is no gap either here nor here. Oh, there is gap here. So now it's not quite square because there is gap over there. Okay, after fiddling with this thing a bit more, I realize if I hold this carpenter square like this, I'm getting slightly better results. Um, I don't see any obvious gaps here. Uh, maybe I can, if I can even turn this thing to the camera, like the light doesn't seem to be shining through through the gap here. And this thing, it, it, it's kind of easier to hold uh, the plastic bit in place over there. So I, I think I finally may have, oh no, the light is still shining a little bit, but I think it's, uh, it's within the acceptable thing. It's not as much as it used to be. So maybe just car carpentry tool is not uh, precise enough. Thinking, thinking a little bit uh, more on this problem, I just realized that the surface I'm building this thing on is, it is flat all right, but it's not level. Like there, there's a little kind of, the table stands like this. And uh, the other thing I've noticed is that when I use this uh, rubber band and I try to level my, uh, Carpenter's corner. Uh, you can see that it is. Uh, it's not that precise. It is a little bit wobbly. So if I try and do something like this, you can see that uh, it wobbles a bit. And if I close the uh, light gap over here, 
it will appear on the other corner over there. So yeah, he, here's the demonstration again. So um, I guess I, I will have to accept that uh, my uh, frame is not going to be uh, exactly straight as because I don't have perfectly level table and I don't have machinist corner but what I am going to do is I am going to try and do my best to kind of like uh, make sure that the gap is not like it's as even on both sides as I possibly can get it to be so something like that so at least there is gap on this side and this side so i i think um this corner is kind of like i'm very much exaggerating but it's sort of like this shape um so I, at least i'll i'll just try try to make it um uh, even on both sides i'll just carefully uh, try and tighten it while it's being like this Okay, now I want to, without taking this thing off, I want to, well, I want to see what we have at the bottom here. Uh, it actually looks, everything looks very even. And there is no gaps between this and this extrusion and no real gap between the plate and this extrusion. But again, this is all um, checking this whole thing by eye and it's not reliable. And if I um, use the tool, it wobbles a little bit. Maybe you can you can hear the sound. But uh, I'm not um, as worried about this as I used to be worried about this because I know that this is this tool is uh, U-shaped basically, and uh, a little bit of that wobble is inevitable. So I think. This is as uh, as good as I can uh, get it to work. So uh, at this point, I think I have no choice but to go ahead with a build, uh, do my best at making it straight and see if I have any problem uh, aligning the bed in Z axis uh, and w w what, what kind of uh, bed, uh, bed leveling uh, graph we're gonna get uh, once this whole thing is assembled.